everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Connie and this channel is all about plants today's video I am going to be repotting the Kalusia plants that I purchased from Lowe's in the previous video and then I'm going to show you what the end result is so let's get right into this video These pots are actually plastic. So they have these holes on the bottom that you need to poke out for drainage. You just use a screwdriver, poke them right out. looks in it in case I don't like it so I'm probably only gonna have enough time to do one tonight anyway and hopefully I can lift it because they're very heavy I already had some of these river rocks so I'm gonna use some of these to weigh down the bottom of the pot I actually want to get another bag of um, less expensive ones or maybe some bricks These are the gloves that I got from the Dollar Tree in Key West. I'm hoping that once I fill this up and put the plant in it, it's not too heavy for me to move back over there. But this is where I'm going to be doing it. If I could lift this bag, I'll just pour it in, but it's so heavy. The soil is about right here, up to right here. So I hope there's enough space, but I want it to do it as high as possible to give the plant a little bit more height and let the roots grow. Now, I need to see if I could actually get this out of this pot and put it in here. This is gonna be a mission. And there's a bunch of mosquitoes out right now. I might have to cut the pot open because it seems like it's root bound. I can hardly get it out. Seems like it's wiggling out a little bit. It's still root bound. The roots are coming out the bottom of the nursery pot. Here we go. It's out. That one's actually the smallest one. I wanted to start with the smallest one because I wasn't sure how heavy it was going to be. Just gonna go in and top off the soil. That's gonna be the only one that I do tonight because it's already nighttime. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here. So I'll finish with the next ones tomorrow. Let me give you a close up. Hopefully you can see it at night. I probably could use a little bit more soil, but I'll do it tomorrow because I really can't see out here. 
but at least one is done. Three more to go. This is how far I built the soil up. And I kind of made like a little um, ditch in the middle so the plant can go in and then I put more soil around the top once the plant is in. The first one was one of the smaller ones, so it was easier to get out of the nursery pot, but this one and the other one was a lot bigger, so I had to cut it out of the nursery pot because it was not budging, but I had to be careful not to cut on the roots. This is what the root system looks like, and I'll show you once I get the whole thing out but these nursery pots are pretty thin. So if you have trouble getting them out, just use some scissors or a bottle. So that's what they're looking like right now. You can see there's a few gaps in between. I really could have used at least six, but what I'm gonna do is just try to move them around a little bit. I may add another one. If not, I'll just add two terracotta pots that I have already to the ends and maybe add a couple of full sun plants that I already have because right now, kind of looks spacey, but I'm gonna fix it. It looks funny right now because that's not high enough, but I have bigger pots and I can build it up the same way. Okay, I already had those two large terracotta colored pots because I had some larger plants that I needed to repot. I got a euphorbia from by the tree where the Hoyas are. And I have another Euphorbia Fire Six that's really tall. And I can use both of those because they take full sun. So I might just pot those into those large ones temporarily and see how I like it. I want it to keep it the same color, but since they need to be repotted anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and repot them. Okay, so I also have this Euphorbia fire sticks right here. It's really tall. I've already cut it a couple times. This could take full sun. It just gets really orangey when it gets sun stressed. Um, this is in a nursery pot, but I do need to repot this. The only thing is that when I repot this, I wanna wear long sleeves because it has that poisonous milk and I don't wanna burn my skin, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to this right now. I also need to get another bag of soil. I actually have some, um, but I would rather use cactus soil. So I might come back to this and this might go on that side right there and that one. So I think once it's all done, it'll look okay. I wasn't really planning on using terracotta on this side, but because I needed to repot these anyway, 
I'm just gonna use them there for now. And they always can be moved. So um, that'll fill in the empty spaces on the right and left temporarily. So here's what my back patio looked like before. And I'm not showing my neighbor's house, obviously for privacy reasons, but you can get an idea here of how close our backyards actually are. So that's the before, and here's the final outcome. All right guys, so this is the final outcome almost because I do plan on using the Euphorbia fire sticks on the left side instead of that aloe because it has more height. But for now, you can see how the Kalujas turned out and also the other Euphorbia on that side that really needed to be repotted. So that's it guys, I got that project out of the way and now it's time to start on the next project. It was a lot of work because those plants were very heavy and on top of that, today was so hot. I'm happy about how it turned out. It is just a temporary fix. I do have a permit in the works, so I'm just waiting you know, for that process to get approved and everything like that so I could get the fence installed. But as far as this little you know, project that I worked on, I think it was a success. So leave a comment down below and let me know how you think it turned out. And if you have any projects that you're working on in your yard, share it down below in the comments as well. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks so much for watching and take care.